So the finals dropped suddenly with an announcement at the Game Awards this past weekend. And although you might not know what it is, you may have seen some clips like this, some movement like this, deleted, and some building destruction like this. Oh my, oh shit, it's still going. Whoa. Well, after seeing all these things, it has led you to this video, which is going to tell you everything you need to know about the finals. For starters, the final is a free to play FPS game developed and published by Embark Studios. The game focuses on team-based matches on maps with destructible environment, where players are encouraged to use the dynamic environment to their advantage, which basically just means you can destroy everything. The finals revolves around people competing in a televised virtual combat game show. Think kind of like the Hunger Games. This can be seen during gameplay as well as the commentary provided by the game in the form of various hosts that make observations about your team or the game itself, which can be quite fun and different, but if that's not really your thing, you can always mute the commentary as well. Now, before we get into the game and how it works, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and playing the finals, because I am going to have a ton more content in the future, including tips, guides, different class builds, and everything that you're going to need to know about this game. So how does the game work? Well, there are two main modes, which are called cash out and bank it. In cash out, the players form teams of three, which compete to complete objectives consisting of opening vaults, which are worth $10,000, and transporting that money to a cash out location. Once you're at the cash out location, you have to guard that spot while the deposit is being made, and it takes a few minutes before the deposit is finished. Aspects of these objectives kind of take inspiration from Capture the Flag, but it's going to require a team to have control of that area for a period of time before they can do the desired action, which is depositing the money. And on top of that, the opposing teams can steal the deposit and change it to deposit for their own team if you're not watching it carefully or if you get eliminated. The way this game is won is the first team to $20,000 in their bank deposit or the highest amount of money when the timer runs out is going to win the round. So basically you want to make sure those deposits are being made and you're guarding them for the full time. Bank it on the other hand is a secondary mode where smaller vaults are spread around the map beginning with $1,000 and gradually getting higher and higher as each vault spawns in throughout the round. And this cash pretty much also needs to be deposited with the first team reaching $40,000 deposited or the highest dollar amount that has been deposited for their team will win the round when the timer runs out. Cash out is 3v3v3 and bank it is four teams of three going against each other. This can be difficult, but it's really fun and can be so chaotic at certain times, especially with the different types of classes running around the map, which is what we're going to talk about now. The players choose their characters based on a light, medium, or heavy class, with the character model changing to reflect that. Certain weapons, moves, and features are class-specific, and each class has a different movement speed. Light builds are fast and smaller and may use SMGs, snipers, and invisibility, but have quite low health. Medium builds are right in the middle, as they should be, using a healing beam and having access to things like assault rifles and shotguns whereas the heavy builds are tanks with the highest HP and abilities to reflect that, and they have an arsenal of LMGs, sledgehammers, and C4 as their equipment. For example, the heavy build may choose to use a sledgehammer, while the light build may opt to use throwing knives. Medium builds also have the choice of a healing beam or defibrillator, which can pretty much instantly revive a team member who has been killed, so it can be very useful, but is only specific to the medium class. So if you like the play style of the light because it's quick, you're not going to be able to use the defib to res your teammates. You're going to have to perform normal revives, which take much longer. This is not a comprehensive accounting of all the options for all classes and kind of neglects other equipment, which can impact things like mobility, such as the grappling hook, which is available for the light build, as well as the presence of zip lines, which can pretty much be placed down by someone who has that as a character trait, but can be used by anyone. On top of this, class specific abilities include things like invisibility and as I mentioned, the grappling hook for the light class, the healing beam or stationary zipline for the medium, and more. The heavy class is extremely tanky with 350 HP compared to the 250 and 160 of the medium and light class. He also utilizes a shoulder charge ability and a ground slam that can break through walls and floors, adding to the environmental destruction, which is really chaotic. As far as the environment is concerned, there are a few different maps to start with. 
but each map does have different environmental options like rain, sandstorms, day and night, and it changes each game. The map is fully destructible, so no building is safe. Things like explosives or your heavy class can destroy pretty much every building in the arena, which makes for some really fun and chaotic gameplay. There's also a fully fledged rank mode, so with the more competitive gamers, those sweats of you that are out there, you can fight for top positions in the ranks each season and basically prove who is the better players. Ranked placement is based on a tournament style format with higher placement and eliminations netting you even more points to rank up. Now, as far as loadouts go, you have weapons like SMGs, ARs, LMGs, shotguns, snipers, and melee weapons, as well as throwing knives. So specific to certain classes, but every loadout does give you the option to pair these with one class specific ability, as well as three customizable throwables. These throwables include things like flash grenades, stun guns, goo grenades, frags, turrets, scanning beacons, and a ton more. So the gameplay never feels stale and you can always try something different and see what works best for you and your team. On top of all of this, there are items inside the arena that are throwable, like canisters. These can be picked up and thrown at enemies, each coming with a different property. Some canisters that are thrown explode with gas, and others will explode with fire or goo. So be aware of what you're throwing down at an enemy, because it could just help you. Another really interesting mechanic that I found of the finals is the revive system. So when you're defeated in combat, you enter a spectating screen with a free view controllable camera, so you can see what is surrounding the spot where you were eliminated. You can kind of help your team and let them know if there are enemies near, if they're still alive. And in the position where you were defeated is a trophy that your teammates can revive you from. But what's really cool is the trophy can be picked up and taken to safety before you get the res off. So for example, if I'm sniped in an open area, rather than my teammate sitting there trying to revive me while there's danger around, he can pick up my trophy, move it inside a building and start reviving me in the safety of cover, which I think is really sweet. Now these are all the basics of the finals and it does come with an in-game store and battle pass. So if you guys are looking for some cool cosmetics, they do already have you sorted as well with that. Hopefully this video has convinced you guys to go and get the finals and give it a go. It is available now on PC, PS5 and Xbox. So if you are looking for something new, this is completely free to play and available on Steam and in your console stores. I hope this video was enjoyable for you. And if it was, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see on the finals in the future. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.